What is up? The Inside Football channel is here, and we have very good news for you. The family of Cristiano Ronaldo will soon be extended, and not with just one child, but with two. The footballer's girlfriend Georgina Rodriguez is expecting twins. The information about Georgina's pregnancy firstly appeared in the Spanish media. And on the same day, Ronaldo confirmed the matter on social media platforms. Delighted to announce, we are expecting twins. Our hearts are full of love. We can't wait to meet you. Wrote Cristiana, posting a photo with Georgina and a picture taken from an ultrasound examination. Turns out that Georgina and Cristiana will be raising six children together, half of which are their common. Although Georgina still cannot acquire the status of Mrs. Dos Santos Aveiro. Why doesn't Ronaldo still marry his sweetheart? There are several reasons for that at once, and we are going to analyze each in this video. Some of them, of course, are prejudiced, but some still give reasons to seriously reflect on it. To begin with, we expect you to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out latest videos. Alright, are you through? Then we proceed to figure out what kind of issues Ronaldo and Georgina have. First of all, we cannot but mention the rumors of Georgina Rodriguez just being the sham wife of Cristiano Ronaldo, which means she gets paid for her work as a wife. Such information slipped in a number of media publishers in the early years of the relationship between Georgina and Cristiano, and in 2020 they even named the amount that Ronaldo gives to his lady. In the program Viva la Vida on the Spanish channel Telecinco, it was stated that Georgina receives from 50 to 100,000 euros per month. Well, does Rodriguez really get paid to work as a wife? Hm. Let's take a look at this from a different perspective. If Georgina was hired as a sham wife, then she would receive a fixed amount of money. Moreover, in the study of the TV channel, it is said that the girl receives cash from Sierra 7 for the maintenance of children and her own expenses. Not surprising as she takes care of the family, manages the staff, and takes over the whole home drudgery. Besides, Georgina earns money by herself, on advertising contracts and other projects. But it is not surprising that Cristiano allocates money to support the family. After all, this is their common cause and common children. It brings us to the following question. What kind of sham wife would give birth to three children and raise three more children for a sham husband? Here we have a more serious argument. The press just recently leaked the info of Georgina Rodriguez not completely appreciated by Cristiano Ronaldo's mother, Maria Dolores dos Santos Aveiro. In a recent documentary, Georgina was questioned about her marriage to Cristiano and noted that she herself was ready to get married. But there is something that interferes with it. It doesn't depend on me, the girl said. After a while, another thing was leaked in the press from a friend of a footballer, according to which Ronaldo's mother prevents this marriage and recommends not marrying Georgina, saying, the only thing a girl wants is his money. The same opinion is shared by other members of the Ronaldo family. Katia, Hugo, and Elma, who live in Portugal, believe that Cristiano is increasingly isolating away from them, only looking at Georgina. In 2019, Cristiano even included Georgina in his will, and this hardly went unnoticed by his relatives. In official statements, Dolores Chaveiro treats Georgina very warmly and calls her a good girl. For example, she mentioned her in a good light during the Lisbon Sporting Podcast. Cristiano is an exemplary father, but he has people to help. The children have nannies, and they have staff who do a lot of things. Georgina is a great support to Cristiano, no doubt about it, Dolores said. However, if I was Georgina, I would worry about that. After all, Ronaldo's previous long relationship was thwarted in fact because of his own mother. What's more, we recall that Cristiano met with Russian top model Irina Sheik for five years. In 2015, the breakup occurred at the initiative of Ronaldo. The reason was that Arena refused to attend the party in honor of the 60th anniversary of Cristiano's mother. Immediately after the Christmas vacation in Dubai, Cristiano planned to come to wish his mother a happy birthday, but Sheikh did not want to follow with him to Madrid. After that, the couple broke up. Prior to the event, Irina and Ron already had a crisis in their relationship. The model did not want to give up her career in order to become a wife and mother. And this was exactly what Ronaldo and his mother Dolores insisted on. So, between the girl and his mother, Cristiano eventually chose his mother. Representatives of Sheik later denied his info, but the fact remains the same. Their relationship ended, although the couple could have gotten married. Will it be the same with Georgina? That is unlikely. Rodriguez doesn't mind being a mother and a reliable person for Cristiano. But this time, his mother doesn't like another thing, the possible greediness of Georgina. 
which will reveal itself after the wedding. Maria Dolores has a strong influence on Cristiano, so we are likely to get no wedding. What do you think of it? Does Georgina really date Cristiano only for money? Or does she really love him? Write your vision on the situation in the comments below. Back in the 2000s, there were rumors that Ronaldo was secretly gay, but they were based only on the image of a footballer, as he cared of his appearance and could spend holidays not only with girls, but with friends too. Another hint popped up when Ronaldo decided to use the services of a surrogate mother. Although Efron was a gay, he would hardly have decided on such long-term relationships with girls. He dated Irina Sheik for years, and now he has been in a relationship with Georgina for more than five years. The latter even gave birth to his daughter, and they are expecting two more. Ronaldo's reputation as a womanizer stands against this version. So many different girls have been spotted accompanied by him. Cristiano has earned such a reputation from a young age, whilst performing for Manchester. Jordana Jardel, Gemma Atkinson, Nereida Gallardo, Luana Belletti, Daniela Chavez, Desiree Cordero are just a few of the beauties who met with Cristiano or admitted that they had a relationship or messaging with a football legend from Portugal. On a date with Ronaldo, one can notice such socialites as Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton. So it's quite difficult to doubt the orientation of Cristiano. As for surrogacy, Ronaldo is not the only modern star to do just that. He just wanted to become a father and became one. Even without having a permanent girlfriend, as it was difficult to find the one and only love that could actually become his wife. So we reject this argument. Another quite real reason why Georgina and Cristiano still haven't got married is that they simply don't have time for a wedding. Cristiano has a too busy schedule that doesn't allow him to relax. In 2019, here is how Georgina answered the question about the wedding. I always imagined female happiness with my husband, my children, and this is what I now have. Wonderful kids, a man who loves and cares for me. I also love him, care, adore, and respect him. He is a wonderful person, and I'm very glad to share my life with him. Yes, we have a wedding in our plans, but at the moment we have too many interesting plans for the future. We are raising our four children, and this is what we are focused on right now," Georgina concluded. As a result, now it's 2021, and there will be two more children in their family to expect. But still no wedding. It is unlikely that we will see the solemnity of Ron and Georgina before the twins are born. And Ronaldo is now extremely involved in his work. He opened a new stage in his career, returning to Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo's wedding must be a grandiose event. And to arrange it, one needs a lot of effort, money and time. This is not the case for CR7 now, due to him actively continuing his football spell, performing for Man United. The pandemic has also done some damage. A huge number of guests would have been invited to the wedding of Cristiano and Georgina, but even tests and vaccinations would not exclude the possibility of spreading the virus in such a crowd. Subsequently, there is a possibility to see the wedding ceremony of Ronaldo and his beloved after the pandemic. Another option, and the last one, Cristiano doesn't love Georgina that much to marry her and is looking for better options. It's unlikely, though rumors about sex scandals are still constantly floating around Ronaldo. When Georgina was pregnant with her first child, there were talks of Ronaldo cheating on her with a girl named Natasha Sofia. She opened up about their affair after being on the reality show Love on Top when she gained some popularity. Natasha described their relationship in detail and even talked about an intimate one. But how true these statements were, no one knows. Cristiano dropped me like a brick, and he could do the same with Georgina. Natasha Rodriguez said recently recalling this situation. A Belarusian girl, Ekaterina Matetskaya, announced her dating with Ronaldo during the Confederation Cup in Moscow. She said they spent the evening at a restaurant after Cristiano himself found her on Instagram. However, she doesn't have any evidence on her words. From the outside, it seems that all these girls are just trying to become famous, making a name for themselves by being somehow connected with Ronaldo. It's unlikely that Georgina and Cristiano's relationship would have been so happy if Ronaldo had been caught cheating. Moreover, the couple decided to have more common children, which means that they plan to be together for long. What do you think? Will we see how Georgina goes down the aisle with Cristiano? Or will there be another woman in their place? Let's discuss it in the comments below the video. Well, it was Inside Football. 
we watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.